right, today parkbenchteam.com is talking with Kendra with Eskimo Joes in Stillwater. And we're going to talk a little bit about Eskimo Joes, then we're going to move into a really exciting event that I'll let her introduce that's coming up next week. So um, get in shape, maybe hit the treadmill while you're watching this video. Um, so can you describe for me and for our audience um, the business of Eskimo Joes? The business, well, um, Eskimo Joe started in 1975, and at the time, the drinking age in Oklahoma was just 18. So Eskimo Joe's was um, a bar and yeah. kind of geared towards college students. And then in the mid-80s, the legislature changed the drinking age in Oklahoma to 21, and that's when Eskimo Joe's kind of shifted gears, and um, we basically added some groceries and cooked up a menu and um, had been a restaurant ever since. And of course... Clothing kind of um, has always been a part of the mix, but the store evolved after the restaurant came along, even though shirts were sold from behind the bar way back on day one. Okay, they were, I bet a lot of our audience then doesn't know that. So yeah, that's shirts exciting. have always been a part of the mix, and a lot of people may not know that, but then again, a lot of people have um, have those in their collections, too. I was going to ask you, do, <laughs> does Eskimo Joe keep somewhere you may not want to say where? <laughs> do we have a deep archive somewhere? Yes. Um, I don't know that we have any of those first shirts around. I mean, who knew that we'd be here 43 yeah. years later talking about this um but we have a few employees uh who have been here a long time and they have you know some shirts from way back you know some they're so worn out around the neck got some you know holes and worn thin and yeah that kind that's of thing. Favorite there's a few of those around okay that's exciting <laughs> so are you part besides being in the business are you part family or what's your connection my connection, well, I have worked for Stan Clark Companies for about 11 and a half years. I'm the Director of Public Relations, and um, since I work for Stan Clark Companies, that's kind of the business office. I work for Eskimo Joe's, Mexico Joe's, Joe's Clothes, and even Eskimo Joe's Promotional Products. Okay. Those are, that's our family of companies, and in my role, I get to work with each of them. Well, they're well known, um, obviously, beyond Stillwater. When Thank we, you. as a family, were living in Nashville, Tennessee, it was really exciting to see. To see a you know, <laughs> Our heart never left home, Aww. but our, our professional life took us to Music City. And so when you would see one of those shirts, it felt like you had a connection and you were with family. It and they does. may not even be from Stillwater. I know, but matter. I feel the same way. I love to wear them outside of Stillwater because when you see somebody, it's an instant conversation. Piece. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, we have a really fun element on our website called the Wall of Fame. And so we invite our guests to post pictures from, you know, wherever they've gone. And so as a result, we've got big groups, you know, big families, groups of teachers, whatever, who have on the Joe shirt, um, and they post those. Or they may have their cute little babies in them or their toddlers or whatever, but then also if they've gone somewhere cool on vacation and they've worn their Joe shirt, they, they publish it there to our Wall of Fame. So That's just really a variety exciting. of photos that are fun, um, and people kind of like um, show your Joe yeah. and uh, show us what you're doing in your Eskimo Joe shirt. Well, that just kind of, I guess, was a good segue into the community Ooh, event that's coming great. up. Great. Because your community didn't just, your community influence for Eskimo Joe's didn't just stay in Stillwater like we've been talking about. So that's kind of evidence that community is very important to Stillwater. And well, it, it, it is important to us. I think um, since the very beginning, um, Stan Clark, our owner and CEO and founder, um, you just have a strong sense of community and really feels it's important to give back and um, you know help those that have helped us be a local business and help us grow all these years. And so years ago, in fact, this will be our 31st year to do the Eskimo Joes. Did you say Duke 31st Joint year? This will be our 31st year to host this event. Okay. And it is solely um, a, the benefactor of this event is the United Way of Payne County. So it's not something that, that we do and give a portion or whatever. Total proceeds go to the United Way of Payne County, and it's been that way the whole time. So the 31st annual Juke Joint Jog is coming up this Saturday on okay. October 13th. So, how many people normally participate on a given year? What's, I Usually, guess it around, every year, it, it changes. We well, and there's year? ups and downs, but um, anywhere from five to 600, 650 or so people. Um, we have a 5K and a one mile fun run. And, you know, it's a it's a race, it's a run, you know, it is timed, but by all means, it doesn't mean you have to be an in shape uh, runner competing to win. We, everyone's 
invited and encouraged to participate because it's really about raising awareness and funds for the United Way. And so you can be a walker, you can be a jogger, you can be a fast runner, you can be a, somebody called them a wogger not too long ago. <laughs> means like you do a little bit of whatever you want to do and I however you that. can. <laughs> doesn't matter your fitness level um, you can definitely come out and walk this event even you know whether it's the one mile or even that 5k we just encourage people to come participate we do give um, awards for those who are in it to win it so to speak and and um, we have award medals in both male and female and then each age division which is about every five age okay. uh, every five years and then we have overall top five female top five male and then all 5K finishers, even if you're walking it, okay. you get a finisher's medal. All right. People like the <laughs> lean. <laughs> and that's good motivation. And so we have uh, finisher medals for the 5K that match our, our shirts. And um, um, the shirt's another big seller on this because when you enter, you get the Eskimo Joe's commemorative shirt for the okay. joint jog this year. I wish I had one. They're being printed today. Okay. Um, so they're not here yet. <laughs> but it's a light blue. It's a Hanes Extemp, which is a really nice feeling mm -hmm. quality shirt. And Hanes helps us out with the sponsorship of that. Um, but um, it's got our logo and everything's a real retro look. Um, some orange and brown and gold to it. And it's printed on light blue. I love the color scheme this year. It's really cool. And All like right. I said, those medals match. So, so. Will, will the big reveal be that day? Or do we well, have to no. To see it? I mean, or if you checked you out, SMAJoes.com does have a sign up link and um, we've got the art on there okay. and we've used it we have a Facebook page for Eskimo Joe's joint jog where we keep updates okay. going and that sort of thing and so the art's out there and it's been you know a lot of people want to know what are we going to you know what's it going to look like this year and so it's there for people to see I just don't have the shirts ready that I could show you one yeah. today. <laughs> well, that's okay. We'll, we'll check the... the Everything the we do at Eskimo Joe's has a shirt, sites. you know. <laughs> yes, amen. So, um, we talked about the event. What about the participants? Do you have anyone who's been to every race? Um, you, know. you know what? Um, there there are a few that have made, um, I think, I don't know for sure if he was at the first race, um, but there is a gentleman that I visited with about two years ago that had a shirt on from, I think it was the Juke Joint Jog 3. Um, okay. because it set it across it and uh, stopped him and just did with him a little bit and um, I don't, haven't even looked to see necessarily if he's registered this year but yes we have a um, some very loyal and, and true runners. followers yeah that are that are repeat um, repeat offenders every year <laughs> well I guess if you played your cards just right you could and you um, finished well in each each year you could win a medal in each age division hey age. now that's a strategy I really <laughs> haven't thought about <laughs> started really young. <laughs> <laughs> Too late for me, but I have young children. <laughs> Sign them up. I can help you with that. <laughs> well, I'm going to encourage them to join. So then we talked about the runners. We talked about the event. What about the support staff? Is it uh, volunteers at all, or do you use well, the since, staff? Well, since we um, host this as a company event, even though it's for the United Way, um, you bet that our people are, are fully behind this and fully engaged. And actually, I use about 75 um, volunteers. And our staff makes up the majority of that, people from Eskimo Joe's, Mexico Joe's, mm -hmm. Joe's Clothes, and Eskimo Joe's Promotional Products Group. Um, but I also have high school students um, who are looking for service hours and um, are, are willing to come volunteer. And those are um, kids from like the Beta Club, the National Honor Society. Ripley's FCCLA chapter brings um, a, a large group, even Lindsay FCCLA comes. Wow. And um, that started because their teacher used to be up here a little closer to Stillwater. And then when she moved to Lindsay, she kept the tradition up of bringing a group. Um, and uh, we've got Perkins 4-H involved. There's there's a number of student organizations and they may only have, you know, five, yeah. six, seven, maybe up to 10 um, volunteers or students that come from their group. But still, it's a great way for kids to um, be involved in a community event, get those community service hours, and more than anything, just learn to uh, be a part of community yeah. activities, I think. Um, well, thank you for giving back to the community. I have a few other questions. One is, how soon after this race will you start planning next year's? Or have you already started planning next year's? Um, I have not started on next year's, <laughs> being that this year's event is Saturday. <laughs> I'm swimming with that right now. Um, but we will set a date and kind of shift gears um, and, and look towards 2019 pretty soon. Um, but there is another event that um, I also do for the United Way every year. I, I coordinate two community events for them, and that's the United Way Golf Classic. 
And so that will be coming up in May. So pretty much at any given time during the year, I'm either working on the juke joint jog yeah. or the golf classic. Now that doesn't mean that it takes all my time every right. day, all day, but there's just a little bit of behind the scenes work going on at any time for, for those two United Way events. And okay. Stan has made that a part of my job here. Um, so it's, um, it's, you know, that probably goes to show how, what how dedicated he is to give him back. Yeah. 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 Um, so how, um, lost my train of thought. Do you run? <laughs> you know what? When I first started 11 and a half years ago, I knew nothing about doing a, a race or a 5k. I'm like, what do you do? And so I just, you know, kind of learned the ropes. But then I started going to other 5k's because I wanted to know how to do my job better. And guess what? I am a runner now. Okay. <laughs> I ran this morning even. <laughs> So thanks to my, my accountability buddy who meets me most mornings so that we can run together. Because if I was left on my own, yeah. it would never happen. But That's I've got so a buddy funny. that I run with, right. and that, that makes me show up every day because I know she's going to be mad if she shows up and I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe vice versa. Oh, that is a little bit too. <laughs> well, um, and the last piece of information I'd like you to share with us is if it's not too late, how to go ahead and sign up for this year's Absolutely, race. yes. You can sign up all the way to race day. You can go to EskimoJoes.com. And there is a, a box there in the middle of the website that says the Juke Joint Jog, and you click on that, and it'll take you to the registration page. You can also um, just come into Joe's Clothes, and we have forms there as well. And um, let's see, today is Monday, so you've got all week to do that. And like I said, you can even show up Saturday morning and register if you want. Now, price is going to go up a little bit right. on Saturday morning, but if you wake up Saturday and you think, hey, nice weather, I'm going to go do it, come on down here. The 5K starts at 10 a.m. Okay, 5 the, the, the 5K, 5K is at 10, 10 a.m. Come a little right. before that to get yeah. registered. And there is the, the proper refreshments after a race, you know, your water, your Gatorade, your bananas yeah. and that sort of stuff. But we also have beer and hot dogs. All right. All free to everybody who enters the Juke Joint Job. Well, thank you so much for visiting with us. <laughs> Great. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Just posted and send you an email. And then uh, we hope 